Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Does that make sense? Welcome or welcome back to- yes, that's how I- welcome or welcome- yes, anyways, okay. So in this video, I'm painting a very large canvas. Uh, this canvas is like seven foot tall. I have two of them actually. So there are two seven foot tall canvases that go together to make like one giant painting. You'll see it in the video then. This was a project that I got to do for like Halloween. So I'm just making a video about it to sort of like show the process because I've spent so long in it at this point. I figured I might as well make it content to show you guys. <laughs> So for this, I actually didn't record day one. Day one was primarily just painting everything white because there was an old design on it. I have a short video I'll put up here showing that I painted it white. It used to be a mystery machine. That's the person that painted it last year for Halloween, did a mystery machine. And this year I am painting this photo, this lovely photo, which is why I'm wearing my Snoopy shirt, of course. So day one was basically just sketching out that photo onto the big canvas, which was quite challenging for me because I had to like scale up everything a lot because it's a big canvas, you know? So I was drawing everything way too small at first. And then I remembered that this is a big canvas, so I need to draw it bigger. So then on day two, I finally like recorded some stuff. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The audio throughout this is going to be a little bit echoey because I was in the garage because these paintings, like these canvases, they don't fit anywhere else. So I'm in the garage. We are in the very echoey garage and I do, I do look weird. Sorry about that. I need my hair out of my face for this. But we are in the garage, as you can see, with the giant canvas. And of course, to demonstrate the scale, I went and stood in front of the canvas like an idiot. I just wanted to show that it was taller than me for some reason. Just like, let me be happy. In this footage, you'll see me try to mix skin color for Linus and Sally as they're pictured on the canvas. Okay, so first things first, I actually have to mix some colors. I messed up with this. Like, I don't know what I was doing. I wasted so much paint trying to mix skin color for them when I already had some up here from like previous projects I could have just used. And I did, I don't know, I just wasted so much paint making like a light orange color that I wasn't gonna use. I don't know why I made a light orange color and honestly, I don't even know if I showed it in the video how it came out, but it was like way too orange to use. So I just wasted a whole bunch of paint. I finally started working on Sally, which, you know, needed to be done at some point. I was kind of avoiding the people just because I don't, I don't like painting people. I don't know, like, and they looked really like scary and I was kind of scared that like trusting the process or whatever like wouldn't work out because they just looked so weird in the sketch. But I was like, I have to get it done. It's part of this. So I started working on them. Also side note, does anybody else like record their self painting and then listen back and just hear like complete gibberish you said that you don't even remember saying? Because that's what happened. Like that's what happened here. And I don't, I don't remember saying this. Give me two shakes of a mice's tail. Two shakes of a mice's tail. Um, okay. Anyways, this is what Sally looks like. She looks great. I think it is Sally. I keep calling her Sally. I hope it's Sally. I think it's Sally. Sally looks great. And there's Linus. She has part of her face filled. I got her scary eyes. I have to kind of keep there because I sketched them out. I started working on the moon too because the moon is like another very big piece of the whole painting and I needed to get that done. The moon, honestly, like it still looks a little wonky um, right now and I don't know how to make it look <laughs> better because it just it looks a little a little wacky a little wonky a little not circular but I will figure it out it definitely looks better than it did in this footage that I'm showing so it's improved since I painted it like a day ago so right now I'm just painting the moon this is kind of the biggest part of the painting well not the biggest part but one of the biggest like details because obviously the sky is bigger and I don't think I mixed enough paint for this entire thing so I will have to make some more so here's what it's looking like so far. I got a small snack, these blueberries, because I'm hungry. But I got the moon. It's a little wonky, but I will go and fix it because I still have to do a second coat for the sky. Right now, I'm gonna work on Sally's dress because it's like this light blue color. So we're gonna do her dress. And then I'll work on Linus, but I don't wanna work on him yet. He scares me. Boop. So like I said, I started working on Sally and Linus. I got Sally's dress done because that was kind of like needing to be done. Okay, hi, hello, what's up? So this is the progress, the progress you can see behind me. 
very nice. Um, anyways, currently I'm working on Linus over there. We're gonna work on his um, shirt next. I started working on Sally's dress. I still obviously have some like little white spots right there that I need to fill in, but I'll do that on the second coat. And I also have to do her hair still. I have to do so much still, and I'm just like looking at it, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, I, I, let's get back into it, shall we? So then I got Linus done, or at least started working on Linus so that he was sort of out of the way just a bit. I didn't really want to work on him that much, so. And after I got, like, Linus done, I started working on the green, because the green is, like, the second biggest part of the whole painting, and it was just going to be so time-consuming, and I know that, and I, I mean, I knew that. I knew that going into this, that the green was going to take forever. And I got all the light green bits done after, like, a couple hours. <laughs> So that was good, that was all done. Hello everybody, it is day three. Three, do you guys do your three like this or like this? I don't know. Currently, it is 7.41, 7.42, it just changed, my bad guys. It is 7.42 in the AM. All right, let's get into it. I honestly like, didn't record a whole lot for day three, except for a couple time lapses, because most of day three was focused on doing second coats of things, like the sky and the pumpkins, because a lot of it needed like second coats, so. But I did get Sally's hair done, which is excellent. Okay, so I have actually done a second coat of all of the sky now, so that's basically done. This is the cat. She's my painting buddy. The dog is also here. There is the dog. Hello, dog. But yeah, we're gonna get right back to painting. So I finished up a couple more things for day three, and then this was my progress at the end of day three. This is how it was looking so far, and I think it looks awesome. Basically, the only thing I had left for day four was the dark green. Hello, everybody. It is, I believe, day four of working on this, and hopefully it will be the last day. All I have to do today is the dark green, so hopefully I can get that done today. So let's get into it. So day four was basically just the dark green, like I said already, and that was a fun little undertaking. Okay, so this is a little update for how it's looking. This is obviously like only the first layer. You can see it's very streaky, so I have to do a second coat. I am watching Smosh Reddit stories and just painting away, so this is my life. Woohoo! So I did some more work on the dark green, of course, and got that all finished up because that was obviously the main goal here today. And after that was all done, I did a couple more touch-ups, and then it was finished. The thing was finished. And honestly, it turned out better than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but it turned out good. And I hope you guys like it, and if you do, consider subscribing, because it took me like 20 plus hours to do this. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. <laughs> And I will see you in my next video. Bye.